you doing today? Decided to go and pick up another random navigation robot. I've been pretty happy with all the ones I've tested, minus one that you probably just saw in a previous video, the Shark Ion. Unfortunately, I gotta keep putting the sharks down. They just don't do a good job. However, this is just a basic Ecovax, AKA D-Bot, so the 500 series. Not a very expensive robot, around $200 to $250, depending on where you get it. And I predict it's going to be much better than the Shark. The other random navigation robots I have done is the iRobot Roomba 692. Very good, cleans excellent. And then a very cheap $129 Ufi 25C. That thing also cleans very, very good for the price. So I picked this up at Kohl's. It was on clearance for like $173. So I went ahead and picked it up to review on this channel. I do think it's gonna do a very good job. And uh, this is just gonna be an unboxing and kind of an overview of it. And then uh, the next test will probably be, we'll probably jump right to the stress test. And then I'll open it up to a bigger area of the floor plan and so on. So I predict this thing's gonna do a very good job. I'd be surprised if it doesn't because most random navigation robots do good in a small area. That's why we do these tests to kind of weed out all the bad ones. So let's go ahead and cut into this guy. Don't even need a knife. Look how nice that is. Maybe you do just for a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. All right, of course it comes with a manual. A little bit of protection. You do get a remote. Very basic remote, tell it to go, pause, you can uh, drive this thing just via remote, so you can move it forward, backward, left, and right. You can tell it to go home and recharge. I believe this is an edge clean button. This one is a spot clean. I'll verify that and update it when I edit this, but pretty sure that's all this one does. Pretty cool to have a remote. And so it's cool it includes a remote, but this also can connect to your phone via app. Uh, it is very basic. You can schedule it, check out the battery life, and then probably control it just like this and schedule it. That's about it. You can't, this thing will not map a room. You can't tell this to go clean your kitchen, etc. So let's go ahead and keep unboxing. Of course, we have the power cord for the base. Comes with a hair cutting tool. So when hair gets wrapped around your brush roll, you simply run this along it and it will slice it for you, making it much easier to clean out. Here is the base station. This is where it goes back and recharges. So this one will go back on its own and recharge, but it won't go back out after it recharges to finish a job. So if you have this at full battery, it'll basically go out until the battery runs out and then it'll go back and charge and consider the job done. All right, get some batteries for the remote, some side brushes. We'll get to those in just a second. And that is all. A lot of people like that noise for some reason. Of course, it comes with a protecting piece of foam so it doesn't get damaged during shipping. Oh, this one goes all the way around. Really does not want this to get damaged. That's good.
Very simple design on the top. You can see it's a power button. It will tell it to go and clean as well as a Wi-Fi light so that you know when to connect your app. On the side here, it's telling you to watch out for the power button because believe it or not, people will buy one of these robots, not see that it has an on and off switch and they will send it back simply because they did not know you have to power it on. So that's what that's for. Here's the bottom, very basic, kind of a small, not very wide brush roll. But it should do a pretty good job overall. It's got the two side brushes. Now the side brushes is a different design that I'm used to. Most of them have three brushes just like that one. I haven't, I don't think I've seen the design with one long one and two short ones. I think this is the first robot I've ever tested that has that. So we'll have to see how well the side brushes do. Just simply push on, nice and easy. And let's check out the dirt bin. Good sized dirt bin. It's going to hold lots of debris. Of course, there's a filter on top. Very easy to access and change when needed. Simply pull it out. Yeah, very simple. I do think this is going to do a very good job. I hope it does. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to just jump to a stress test or if you'd prefer for me to just do a small test with a little bit of rice, maybe a couple of jelly beans, nothing major, and just see how well it does with a simple test before we give it a tough test to clean up. So it should be a pretty good robot overall. I think it's going to do just fine. That's why we do this test so you guys can see which robot to order. And I will compare this up against the iRobot Roomba 692, the Shark Ion, as well as the Eufy 25C, and any other random navigation robot that I've tested in the past. Do me a big favor, smash that like button, subscribe. A lot more videos coming, and I'd really appreciate it. Have a great night, and I will see you in the next one.